part three of Salt and Sanctuary playthrough, so I beat the Kraken Cyclops. So now I will carry on. <clears throat> it's down here. Hager's Cavern. Bell of Return. Wretch Feeder Mall. Alrighty. Whatever you say. Endless Fang. Wretch Feeder, another Wretch Feeder Mall. All these, all these items that you get from enemies, you can trade into a stone, to a stone leader. And a stone leader, when you pray to the altar that your creed is at for each sanctuary, and you produce a stone leader that way, you can give all these items to the stone leader, and they'll give you like blood vials for my specific creed or healing items. You gain more healing items the more enemy parts you can give them, but you can only give them a certain amount at each sanctuary. So it's an interesting way of uh, gaining more Estus Flasks, if you will, in Salt and Sanctuary. If, you, if any of you have ever played Dark Souls, that's the way you can, another way you can gain uh, blood vials or vials in this game. Healing items. That's my creed's way of healing blood vials. Forest Fang. I miss anything down here? I think I might have missed something. Ah. A pack of salt and a stone merchant. jumped over my swing. Oh my god, I almost died. No! Oh, he killed himself. He was a uh, suicidal fucking alien looking guy from Alien killed himself. Let me see if I missed any sanctuaries. Ah, I did. save that stone guide for another place. But I'll definitely put stone leader here because I can easily farm items that I can get more blood vials from. So... Flask of Defilement. Put more blood vials. So you can trade in items for blood vials with the stone leader. So I just gained... I have 13 now. Now I have 14. 14 blood vials. I should have leveled up.
use the green key. Vertigo brand. So now I can use these uh, obelisks so I can surmount anti gravity. So when I press O on my controller or B on the keyboard, I can use anti gravity. And these things uh, negate anti gravity. Silver leaf. No! No, don't fall off! No! Dude, I went into the boss room by a controller fail. Wow, he's gonna kill me because my controller's being retarded. Controllers being really, really stupid. All right, time to quit this then. Didn't mean for this to happen. Apparently it did, so I have to end the whole thing. And now let's boot it up again. And first of all, let's diagnose why this is happening. Let's see if it works. Yeah, but I went into that boss by sheer accident. And my controller was just moving me to the right and I couldn't do anything. I'm still not able to do anything. Alright. Turn this off. There we go. Now it should work. Let's try this again. Oh, I hit him already before I even announced it.
Yeah, these enemies are they're better to be aggressive against, especially the harder ones in this game. Well, that was an easy boss. Had I not died to it two times because of a controller fail. No! What the hell? How did I die there? And at least I didn't decide to keep my 110,000 salt, because that would have been a problem. Oh my god, the button input is fucked up in this. Again, I died at the same thing. I press X and nothing comes out. Oh my god, you almost got me killed. No, I know what it is. I pressed down on the analog stick by accident, so I passed through it. So that's what happened there. 
I gotta make sure I don't do it this time. There we go. I don't want to do that. Didn't want to use that either. There we go. Red shard. Not ah, anti gravity. Ah. What is in here? A Ooh, uh, shield, a Scarian Sanctum, and a Sack of Salt. A Sack of Shit. Found a Sack of Shit. In this game, you level up with shit, not with salt. You find shit, and you level up with it. called Shit and Sanctuary. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not funny. Alright. Oh my god, did, did it again! Oh well, I guess that ends part three of the playthrough until I can fix these controller problems. 
So, uh, yeah, pretty much ends the, the third portion of this.